The Rizzuto Show. Wow, we have somebody very famous here. Very famous. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, yeah. see, see what happens, uh, yeah. Miss Nikki yeah. Glazer. Is, see, I, I, I set it up and he spikes it. He really did. I love it. Uh, <laughs> St. Louis's own Nikki Glazer is here. Hey! Thank you. Thank you. Star of, of. I like how you just guys use a, a clapping sound when there's enough of you to actually make that in here if you wanted to just clap. Uh, but you guys don't don't care to do that. Like a live studio audience kind of thing. <laughs> you did? Okay. I, 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 I'm sorry about that. That's how lazy we are. Like if one of us actually has to fart, we don't actually fart, do we? Yeah, no, we have a fart sound for that. Yeah. <laughs> Say there. Oh, uh, that was me. <laughs> now you know when 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 she walked in, I was I, I said to her, I was like, Man, there's a lot of guys in here. I know it's a, a bit so much dude. And knowing that you'd be here, uh, we procured a candle. Uh-huh. Like a yes. nice smelly candle. And it doesn't smell that And we that all bad started here. banging right away. <laughs> it's just the nature of candles. <laughs> what is this? Sweet candied apples. Oh, no. The candle went out. Oh, oh no. no. Get her out of here. Get her out of here. Oh, God. Before, I must, I must flee. It. Before our musk takes over. <laughs> and it knocks her out. Who was in here once? It was one of our promotions girls. And oh, the chick that works in promotions, she goes, yeah. she goes, ugh, it stinks in here. Uh, and I'm like, yeah. Like wow. dirty laundry or something she, she called it. I forget what it was. Wow. She's right. And that's exactly what I said this morning when we walked in. Remember yeah. I said, it smells like B.O. in here. And I, I know kinda, it's not I don't know. I like a dude smell sometimes. Do you? Not these guys. You I don't know. Whatever's happening in here, I liked. But I, I guess it was that candle. Uh, yeah. <laughs> On top of. I like my dudes to smell apple. musky and appley. I mean, that's, that's, what I, that's my go-to. Yeah, I, don't, I don't wear cologne. I'm not a cologne guy. Yeah, I don't think anyone should be. No, you're not a, you're not uh, a, no. a chick that digs a guy with cologne? That tells me you're hiding something, and you, and you try too hard. Yeah, we're just hiding insecurities. Yeah, yeah that's, well, that's it. no big deal. I don't mean to, <laughs> you don't need to get defensive over there. Oh, no, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just explaining. No, absolutely. Do you wear a cologne? No, I mean, very, I mean, maybe once a month, and Come it's on, not. a couple okay, dabs, yeah. couple dabs yeah. of Old Spice? Sure. You know, some once of it month. does smell real good, but I, yeah, I'd rather just, if you like, if, if you like a guy, you're going to like the way they smell. I find. What yeah. about after like Kill working them. out? You one of those chicks? Um, yeah, I like when my guy like stinks. Yeah, I've smelled his underwear before. Oh my god! <laughs> all right, dude. All right. Here we go. That's incredible. I heard you were cool. The but front all right. part, not the back. Uh, well, then it's okay. Yeah. I'm uh-huh. imagining you putting it on like a mask. Oh yeah. Just... <laughs> She's like underwear bane over there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the real reason you're here is not to smell us all, but uh, no, you're yeah. doing a charity thing. Yeah, I'm doing a, a show at the Funny Bone tonight. I'm headlining, and uh, all the proceeds go to uh, STL uh, Stray Rescue. So we're saving dogs tonight with uh, jokes. Uh, I almost said D <laughs> jokes and P jokes. <laughs> P not being the urine. Will sure, there no, be animals you. there tonight? No, I might bring my dog, but I don't. I don't think it's just a hassle. I don't think there will be dogs. No, it's just um, just comedy. But I don't headlo- I don't like play here often because it's always such a hassle because I have so many family and friends that I have to be like, hi, oh, and yeah. I can't do my dirtiest stuff and so. But so sometimes I avoid doing shows, but I um. But now I'm not because I, now I can make them all for charity and it makes me feel better about doing it. Yeah. So you will have family there and yes. do you, you do throttle it back knowing that like. No, no. Actually, whenever I t- attempt to throttle it back, I always go harder. There's something in me that mm-hmm. just doesn't when there are rules restricting what I say or any kind of um, person in the room that I'm like, I shouldn't say this in front of them. Like, I remember one time there was this girl who I hated and who hated me and she was like a bully to me and she was in the and room. And she came to one of your shows? No, she's a, she was a comedian and she oh. was in the room and I remember I was so scared of her. She was like the top dog in town um, back then. She's moved since. But she was really mean to me and I remember going up one night and I just found out I had HPV that day and I was like, I'm not going to talk about it on stage even though I'm really uh, upset about it. But then I went on and I immediately was like, I have HPV. And I'm like, I just gave her that. <laughs> but if I but if I say it, then I she can't make fun of me because I'm right. already making fun of myself. Yeah, and we all have You've already it. diffused it. Yes, yes. So um, whenever I make a rule for myself, I always break it. So tonight's uh, going to be very dirty. Is, uh, is this Was this in St. Louis, by the way, this, this bully comedian? Yes. Is this person famous now? No, thank God. Is this person Louis Anderson? No. 
I don't know why that's the first name that came out. I have no idea. Is this person Louis Anderson? No, I have no idea. He's not from here. (laughs) His name is Louis. Say Louis Anderson. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but have Louis Anderson as your bully. I mean, that would be hilarious. That would be pretty cool on a story to tell. That would be neat. How many dogs do you own? One. One dog. Yeah, just one dog. His name's Luigi. And uh, I'm not one of those people that's like, he's my baby, but he is breastfeeding, which is cool. <laughs> we just started doing that. And um, no, I'm knock just his teeth out first, huh? I, <laughs> No, I like it rough. And, oh, good. Uh, oh, good. With a dog and like a rough. rough. Oh, I didn't even realize you that. You got it. Yeah. It just comes so naturally. Oh, it's, it's those kind of jokes tonight at the Funny Ball. Oh, it's going to save please. dogs right there. Comedy for canines, huh? Yep, yep, yep. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so I have a dog and I'm obsessed with him and it's gross and it's everything. God, I wish I still had that audio from yesterday. See if you could find it for me in yesterday's um, yeah. prep. Yeah. Well, I got a dog because I was I, I knew my boyfriend and I were going to break up soon. So I got him because I was like, I want something, you know, on retainer that will give me unconditional love. Like maybe go down on me. Like I just oh. wanted oh, something. Oh that... my God. Guys, who said that? Yeah. Um, I'm just kidding. I would never do that because uh, he had been a bad dog that day. So I would never, I would never do that. I your dog would that. love it, by the way. You can't, you can't let your dog do that, but he would love it. I'm no, sorry. What I was going to bring up was uh, yesterday we had a story of, uh, I don't know where you let your dog duty. Like, do you go out with the dog and yeah. you, like, do you, do you go behind with the bag? Yeah. Yep. And I always find it funny. I'm not, I'm not a dog owner or a dog lover, really. Yeah. Um, but I always find it funny when when I see a human picking up the the the, the excrement of something lower on the yes. the food scale. You yeah, know? it's embarrassing. But sometimes it's a nice hand warmer when it's <laughs> when it's winter. It really is. And and I've become like, oh, this is such a good poop. Like I get excited when it's like a very sturdy one and do, not do like you, runny. Do you compliment your dog? Oh, good job. Yeah, I'm like, oh, well this done. is not. And then sometimes it's runny, and you're just like, do I just smear this around oh, the grass? Man. Is that better than just leaving a? No, there, there was a story. Hose it down a little bit. Yeah, there was yeah. a story yesterday, and I, and Patrico's trying to find the audio here. It's a, a guy confronts a dog owner because this, I think it was a Chihuahua, had just kept crapping on the sidewalk in front mm-hmm. of this guy's house, and he makes the woman pick the dog duty up with her hands. Oh, wow. And it's even worse because it's on the sidewalk as opposed to the grass. Oh, yeah. yeah that's awful. Yeah, that's not Where good. is it, Patrico? Uh, audio to start the show. I got to find this here. Oh, here it is. All right, listen to this. Hey, listen. You? you were here uh, last week and you, you let your dog on my payment the same you just did. You, you need uh, to pick that up. Hold on, hold on. Uh, it's a chihuahua. Okay, I don't care. What is that? Well, that's not that's an excuse. Ca- that's California, by the way. It's a chihuahua. <laughs> I don't even know where it is, but that's got to be California. It's got to be. Chihuahua? Okay, I don't care if it's a chihuahua or a Great Dane. When I step in it, all right, I got kids in there. When I bring it, step in it and bring it to my house, the kids are rolling around in it. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, so you. His kids are a problem. Why yeah, are but kids got, rolling around but in it? But he's got little kids, and he, you know, and he's making, you know, no. duty stamp marks because he stepped in it. Totally, they're both. They're bo- I, I don't. I don't like either of these people. <laughs> I don't. I like the guy here so far. So okay, far, okay. Oh, so far, I'm liking the guy. Let 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 this finish out. You need to pick it up. I don't think so. I'm not picking it up. Listen, you're gonna pick it up. Or I'm gonna knock your junkie you're boyfriend the f- out. You're gonna talk to me like that? I told you to pick it up. Really? Hear what he said. The boyfriend's like, I told you to pick it up. Oh, nice. And that was her saying, are you going to let him talk to me like that, right? Is oh, that yeah. what she said? See, that's her, her, her knight in shining armor, huh? Oh. I told you to pick it up. Really? Pick it up. Oh, I'm sorry. Pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, God. This, this is crazy. Do you have a bag? No. Pick it the up. And with her hands. Yeah, it ain't over. <laughs> oh, my God. She did it. And that... Is our hero of the day? <laughs> I didn't hear her say these are nice, nice yeah. hand warmers. No, no, I, I think that I think it's plenty uh, warm in California. Yeah, Ugh, gross. Yeah, but that's what happens. I do it. I would. I I hate leaving poop. So if I didn't bring a bag, sometimes I just like get a leaf and then it gets yeah, on my hand. Yeah, I've done that stuff. too. Yeah, yeah. 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 Just, or, get, or get a stick and fling it somewhere. Yeah, you gotta out of get harm's it up. Way. Yeah, get it out of there. That's give so it a little shoe ski, a little shoe to the side, even. Yeah, a little shoe to the side. Just kick it to the side. I mean, like if if you're if you're like if it's on somebody's driveway or on like a public yes. place. 
I mean, you pick it up, but even if you can't pick it up, let's say it was an emergency, so that you at least get it out of the walkway. Yeah. I know that the apartment building, uh, I heard they were doing, like, they would make your dog do a DNA sample oh, yeah. because oh, they yeah. were, yeah. Like, that yeah. is some mm-hmm. scary stuff. Yeah, I love it. Yeah. Serious. That's good. That's good. You gotta pick up after them. Yeah, it'd be a, be a, a respectable dog owner yeah. and have some respect for the people but around But that you. junkie boyfriend stood, stood up for her. Yeah, that guy was pretty should, aggressive. Have you seen the video? Did you see the yeah. actual video? Man, this guy's a winner. <laughs> oh, God. They all the stopped. Hey, you know what he looks like? He looks like Jim Norton had a real bad day. Oh, man. That's what he looks uh, like. Jim Norton has bad days every day. <laughs> I told you to pick it up <laughs> all right see nikki glazer tonight over at the uh the funny bone yeah. and it's all for stray rescue and uh, for a good cause and please pick up your your dog's excrement that's the two yes. that's the takeaways right now yes that, those, those two are things. the two takeaways before somebody threatens to beat up your junkie boyfriend that's what i call it a takeaway when i put it in a bag <laughs> uh let's do some celebrity news all right all right, it's uh, time to find out what's going on in the world of music and entertainment with your Crap on Celebrities. It's brought to you by Lena's Pizza, St. Louis's only frozen pizza made with 100% real Provel cheese. You're a Provel fan as a St. Louis of person? Of course, yes. I worked at Emo's in high school. Uh, do you, it's hard to you, explain to people out of town what that is. Yeah, oh yeah. You they, know what I'm thinking? Tonight, baseball game, hockey game, if you're not going out to watch the game, get yourself one of these on the way home. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Whoa, that's what, happening. While you're watching. What, what was the Lena's flavor that we had? Uh, the it, buffalo chicken every one? Every single one. Yeah, uh, buffalo buffalo chicken one. I like, the, I like the bacon one myself. I don't think you can get that buffalo chicken one yet. You can't? April 24th. I can't believe I know the release of date of a frozen pizza. I know the then. release date of a frozen pizza. If you, now, Nikki, if you were to look at us and go, which one of us would know the release date of a certain type of pizza? Which you one have would a countdown be? clock like most guys have for like Emma Watson being legal or whatever. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, you are a correct. I'm not going to deny that at all. I love it. I actually worked with a guy, this is obviously a long time ago, that had a countdown clock on his computer for the Olsen twins turning 18. Isn't that disgusting? Oh, that's so, so gross. gross. It's like you have, it's, you, like, you have a shot when they turn 18. My yeah. friend, uh, a name drop, Amy Schumer, just texted me the other day and was like, I met an Olsen twin. You got to call me. And I called her. I was like, Wait, which one? She goes, I don't know. I <laughs> talked to her for 10 minutes and we hugged and yeah, I still third, don't know. There's, there's three of them. There's, I called uh, Michelle. Ashley, there's uh, Mary, Mary Kay, Mary Kay, Kay and, and Elizabeth. And, no, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, poor Carl. unfortunate Carl. Carl Olsen, Olsen, yeah. It's actually triplets. I didn't know that, and they don't talk about that. Carl anymore. Olsen, he works at Target. Yeah, <laughs> I, I heard of Carl. All right, let's do uh, crap on. Uh, you remember this uh, Stephen Belafonte guy? He's the soon-to-be ex of Mel B. He's the one that is being accused of beating her up, forcing her to have threesomes, uh, sex tape for sale, all that kind of and stuff, he, right? And he, uh, he hired this nanny, right, to watch their kids. And have you seen pictures of the nanny? Yeah, mm-hmm. she is not unattractive. She is. Damn. And he apparently thought she was sexy, too, because now they have a child together, apparently. Oh, my Her, God. Him and the nanny? Yeah. yeah oh, they, no, they had, yeah, they had they, a child a long time ago. And then he forced, or the rumor is that he forced the nanny, or he forced Mel B to allow the nanny to move in to their house with the kid. While she was pregnant. Oh, oh yeah. No. After the kid was oh, born. And they yeah. have threesomes, and they say the nanny's got video of... What, which one was she? Was she pushover spice? Yes. <laughs> okay, that's right. <laughs> Mel B stands for bang, I think. Oh, so God. he is now coming out saying that several several days ago he goes to the cops and said that a former girlfriend is extorting him, threatening to make up stories about the abuse. You notice what he's doing here. He's trying to make everybody else look bad, and he's the victim. And he says he, that she's going to make up uh, stories about abuse unless he pays her uh, to, to, to keep her, her, her pie hole shut. Mm-hmm. And law enforcement people say that, uh, well, he says the cops, uh, he said to the cops the woman contacted, her, contacted him with false claims, but said people would believe her because of what Mel B has been saying as well. I don't So this story is just going to keep going on and on and on Ugh, and on. It's a shame. Why, why she would put up with that? She's a strong woman. Which one, Mel B? Yeah. You know, it's one of those things where you get in that situation. I know. And you don't know how to get out, right? No, it's, I, I, I feel bad for her. She is definitely a victim. And, like, she's so famous and beautiful and all these things, and you stay with that loser. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah, he's a weird-looking dude. She's a nice-looking woman. She certainly she is. She nice is. Woman. She's stunning. Yeah. Like, she's stunning is a good word to describe her. You know how we talked uh, on a couple of days ago about how... Um, uh, Janet Jackson was married for what four or five years, had a baby, a couple of months ago, and now they're getting a divorce. Yeah, the the oh. kid's two months old. Yeah, I know. And she's way to make it 52 work. Fifty-two or something. 
Yeah, she's 50, 50, 51, 52, yeah. somewhere right around there. Yeah. Two months, the kid is two months old and they get divorced. Yeah. Something, something's fishy there's going something, on there. Yeah, there's something up. Well, you know how I said that he's worth about a billion dollars. She's worth a couple hundred million dollars. So was there a prenup? Do we even care? There was a prenup. And because of the math here, because she stayed in the marriage for five years and had a kid, she is now entitled to two hundred million dollars. Oh there, my god! There's, oh, you think that had something to do with it? Oh, I, the, the, I have read reports online that they're saying that she wanted to get out long ago, but stuck it out for the five years because she knew she was going to get paid if she stuck around for five full years. Prenups really don't protect you at all, do they? Five, like to have that caveat in it. I, is that akin to prostitution, though? Basically. No, because who even knows if she was sleeping with him? Just enough to have that baby. Hmm. That's a good point. But it's, it's everything's prostitution I, if you yeah, look at it true. that way. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I whore myself I out just, all the time. Yeah, I sleep with a guy just because he's nice to me and uh, is a good person. You're doing it just for compliments. Yeah, not cash. yeah. So that's a compliment. <laughs> I or... do it for Cole's cash. <laughs> very strange. Uh, carpool karaoke, Riz. I know that's one of your all-time favorites. It's going. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. It's going prime time yet again. Late Late Show Carpool Karaoke Primetime Special 2017 is coming on Monday, May 22nd. Yay! Uh, <laughs> that's why I'm a huge fan. Are you a huge fan? No, you know that some of them are very entertaining, but um, you know, it's just lowest common denominator television. It's, it's like fu- lip sync battles. It's stuff. fun when it's done every once in a while. And it's yes. somebody very famous. Yes, exactly. Um, but yeah, I won't be tuning into that, unfortunately. And, and that's the thing. Who is it going to be? They haven't said yet. <laughs> I know because I have a friend be. who wrote on it. Oh, so you know who it is? Yeah. Who's but it I forget be? already. Oh, okay. <laughs> you liar. You're saying that so I you won't tell know. us. They, they did it. They're doing it so much that like oh, soon it's going to be carpool karaoke with Craig T. Nelson. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, dude. We don't care. They sing the, the theme to go. Yeah. <laughs> did, he already, did he already do Elton John? Yeah. Did he already? Oh, he already. Okay. Because yeah. that yep. was the picture that was with oh, the story. You know so I didn't oh, know if that was a new one or not. Maybe. Huh. Maybe not then. Because I've seen that picture too. So, so maybe I just thought it could be it, yeah. Elton John if that one hasn't already aired yet. Uh, the nominees for this year's Billboard Music Awards are out. Chainsmokers Drake have the most, 22 nominations apiece. 21 Pilots have 17 nominations. Rihanna with 14. The Weeknd, 13. Beyonce with 8. All six of them are competing in the top artist category, along with Adele, Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande. Uh, nominees are based on actual album and digital sales, as well as streaming, radio airplay, touring, social ingre- uh, engagement. Yes, Billboard Music Awards. Emphasis on board. You know what? If it's not the People's Choice Awards, I don't care, because the People's Choice Awards, That's we get to matters. choose. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> totally. Are you uh, amongst those people that are huge Star Wars fans, by chance? No. no. Yeah, me either. Oh, that side of the oh, I love Star Wars. Uh, I'm such I don't a nerd blame you. Yeah, it. no, it's I it seems it. like a fan. very special thing to to many men. Yeah, <laughs> I escape. Did you yeah. see it? Did you I see it in escape. your youth? No, I never oh, saw well, that's it. The, yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the thing. They got to get them in their youth. Yeah, it's the same way with but me. But My Little Pony, forget about it, right? Oh man, by the way, they are making a film. Oh wow, they're making a feature film. Oh, I know. My five year olds excited. Yeah, I just like the way they smell. Yeah, that, that weird like plastic smell. Yeah, that new rubber smell. It is interesting. Mm. <laughs> well, if you are a fan and you would like to actually be in the new Han Solo movie, there's a video on the blog. Mark Hamill right. and Daisy Who's Ridley. Whose couch do I have to go on to? Right. <laughs> you know, if you can get, if you can get past the I'll fingernail. I'll do it. Fine, I'll do it. If you can get past the fingernail dirt that covers those things after a few years. Oh, yeah. That new My Little Pony smell never right. goes away. It's if so you think about good. It. I wish there was a perfume or it's a cologne. Still, it's still there. For this room. For a cologne. Is this going to be a casting couch thing for Han Solo? No, coach. I oh, yeah. am willing to do it. No, you uh, unfortunately no. Couch. No, you donate money and buy certain things to get you into a chance in the running to possibly do it. Are they kickstarting this uh, this Han Solo movie? Kind of yeah, no looks like it. It, like it. kind of <laughs> looks like it just a little bit. Are they crowdfunding it? I, I would think that Disney has the money. <laughs> One would think. Uh, Caitlyn Jenner says that Robert Kardashian actually knew O.J. Simpson was guilty. Of course he did. But defended him anyway, possibly get back at his ex-Chris, ex- oh, who I'd... was friends with Nicole Brown. 
Well, that seems like it's not true to get back at her. I think he was just hired, so he had to... Uh, lawyers know their clients are guilty all the time. Right. He knew because it was common sense. Everybody knew. Yeah. But weren't they yeah. like super... I mean, they were super close were friends close. before yeah. all of this kind of stuff. Because yes. OJ is uh, is Kim's godfather. Did you watch the, the show? I'm almost done with it. Ross played him? Yeah. 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 So he weird. does a great job, and he's very guilty about it. He feels very bad. That yeah. It, and he realizes Juice did it. And Juice. 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 Uncle Juice. Juice. Say his Uncle Juice. 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 Say. Juice. 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 I, I uh, started Juice. watching more of that uh, uh, Dave Chappelle stand up on Netflix oh, last night. Oh, that's good. So good. So good. And there's a, there's a part, and I don't want to spoil it, but there's a part where he talks about the three times that he met yeah. OJ. Oh, and, oh, and yeah, the I gotta last see that this one weekend. is great. It's that's so, so watch hilarious. both of those specials. They are so good. And have you seen him before stand up? Do stand up? Yeah, yeah. I, I never have actually I have. said. Okay, so I here's. I saw him my, here at the pageant. So here's my question Does he always do the microphone thing? Like he'll say a joke. Yeah, it hits his, he- hits his leg. hits his leg, and he says the punchline. He steps back and goes like that, and it hits his leg with it. Yeah. it was annoying as hell yeah it's a um it's almost a device that like tells people when to laugh a lot of comics use it they have they take a sip of water mitch used to do they, the pipe thing yeah, yeah yeah and it's just a place for people to laugh yeah i um i went and saw dave Chappelle when i was uh in 2002 before he was famous i, I just want to say hmm. i went first comedy show ever i went to i went by myself in denver i was going to school there and i only went because i loved him and you've got mail <laughs> <laughs> He's amazing in that movie And that's where I was a fan of him from I was the only white person there And uh, it was a scary bus ride back home This was the pageant <laughs> This was the pageant uh, At the height of Chappelle show mm. And what a terrible place To see a, to see a comedy show Yeah, yeah. Because so? people would not shut up Oh huh. god I saw and Tracy so Morgan there, it was and, great People yeah. would not shut up we were, we were sitting all the way up top And people thought it was a concert Oh uh, yeah, there yeah. to listen to somebody speak. Yeah, that's it's and it was that's very the problem annoying. with doing comedy in rock venues. I think people just when they're standing, they think, oh, it's. And then people were yelling out, "Hey, do James Brown!" Of and course. he started getting pissed off, and oh, he wound that. up he wound up walking off the stage. Good for him. And and being done early. Hmm. But it was good overall. I saw Tracy Morgan there. It was fantastic. I was down on the floor. I was like Maybe fifth that's row because you were down on the floor. That could be. That was good. And he got you pregnant, right? He did. <laughs> I'll get you pregnant twice. That's my that's my Tracy Morgan. You Thank got you it. Very much. Great job, man. Very much. Oh, you, you missed, here? You I'm missed tra- one part. I'm Tracy yeah. Morgan. I'm gonna get you pregnant. Yeah. yeah. Right, thank you, guys. I thought he was actually here. <laughs> Remember back in August, I talked about how you know the band Heart and uh, Wilson, Nancy Wilson, and they they were on tour, and uh, Ann Wilson's husband Dean assaulted Nancy's 16 year old twin sons. You guys remember me talking about this? Yes. They left Ann's door of uh, tour bus door open. He went after him, wound up choking one of them to where they almost passed out. EMTs were called, all that kind of stuff. Well, they did an interview, and they're still the, the sisters still not talking. They're trying to like uh, do therapy, get back together. The, the, the Wilson sisters? Yeah, the Wilson heart? sisters, yeah. So that's not really the story here. My question is, would you guys be able to get, like if your brothers, if you had a sister, uh-huh. and the sister's husband, so your brother-in-law, choked your son, choked your son out, wouldn't it be relationship over? I would think. Yeah. I, I, I don't think I could get past that. Because the insane. cops were called and nothing happened to the guy, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, I mean, brother or sister, spouse, puts your hands on your kid. You to me, it's to, over. Now, you also have to uh, throw in that heart as a business, the band. Right. And, you know, they got to get back to work. Yeah. Yeah. And you know what? Some people like being choked. <laughs> There's a time and place for that. That's true. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> not it right sounds outside the hot trailer. To me, if it wasn't a kid. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Uh, I saw this one. Speaking of Caitlyn Jenner, I saw this list and I thought it'd be interesting to throw out uh, stars who were raised in LGBTQ homes. Okay. Obviously, we know Kendall and Kylie Jenner. Okay. Okay. Renee Russo. Did you know that about her? I did not. No. Her mom, Shirley, is a lesbian. Her dad left, and it was all women in her life, and she was raised by by gay females. That's pretty much what this list is going to be, Riz. Okay. Huh. Huh. Mandy Moore, same way. November 2016, uh, she she says that, uh, well, here's the deal. I've never really talked about this before, but my parents are divorced. My mother left my father for a woman, and both of my two brothers are also gay. Huh. Wow. Hmm. That is a gorgeous. Is, is Jessica is Simpson on the list? Didn't the dad? Lady. Oh, the Jessica dad Simpson's is dad? very uh, Not on the list. I thought the dad I thought the dad is very questioned. The I thought thing I is, though, do you grow out. up in a gay house if you don't know until after you're grown up? No. Yeah, see, the Jenner gay? sisters. Yeah, so they, they weren't affected by it, even though they, they kind of caught their dad dressing up a couple times. Yeah, they weren't affected by it. They seem really, really Yeah, don't they? 
Uh, did you know that 50 Cent's mom was a lesbian? Ah, yeah. Yeah. My whole childhood was like that, he said. Uh, we talked recently about uh, how Robert De Niro's dad was gay, and he finally came out and started talking oh, wow. about it. Yeah. Uh, Jodie Foster was reportedly raised in a two-mom household in her youth by her own biological mom, Evelyn, and her female life partner. Did you know that? Huh. How about wow. this one, Ali Sheedy? Huh. Did you know that? <laughs> Ali Sheedy's mom and Ali Sheedy's daughter, both lesbians. Did you know that? Oh. I didn't. Uh, Jenna Malone, in an interview with LA Weekly, uh, she says that uh, she recalls a brief I don't know time. Who that is. It's almost it's, like I was gonna say, people Games. are gay in the world. Yeah. Hunger oh. Games? Am I, yeah, it almost sounds like a third of, or 3% of the population is gay. Oh. Hmm. Huh. Her mom, Deborah, had uh, relationships with women all during her youth. Jenna Malone is from uh, the Hunger Games. Neat. And uh, <laughs> finally, oh no, two more. No, I'm sorry, one more Jennifer Gray. I don't know if you knew that or not. Oh, Joel Gray? Jennifer, yes, Joel Gray came out as gay in an issue of People magazine. When You've ever seen Cabaret. That's... Her nose, though, is now straight. <laughs> hey! oh. I think we can end on that one. On TV tonight on Fox, you got Empire of Blues in the Wild, 8.30 on Fox Sports Midwest. Uh, celebrity celebrating birthdays uh, today. Brooklyn Decker is 30. Brendan Urie, the lead singer of Panic at the Disco, is 30. Claire Danes, 38. Uh, 311 singer Nick Hexum is 47. Andy Garcia, 61. David Letterman is 70. And today's Burton birthday of the day. He saw huge success as Al Bundy, then disappeared for a little bit, and now is even, seeing even bigger success as Jay and Modern Family. Ed O'Neill, 71 years old. You like young. that show, Modern Family? Oh, it's so good. Yeah, I'm still in. It's one of the best shows on, uh, ever. That's a show that my wife and I like. If we're to sit down, like that's the it's show that's so go to. Funny. If it's on the DVR, a lot of jokes per minute. It's like thirty rock yeah. fast with jokes. It's mm-hmm. so good and it's well great. acted. Although the characters are starting to get really exaggerated, exaggerated and, and, and yeah. like where you're just like, this would never happen. Like the Phil Dunphy character is getting dumber so and dumb. dumber and dumber. It's like with Joey at the at the end of Friends. I was like, Joey has a disability (laughs) we've been making fun of him this whole time he's mentally disabled yeah Yeah. (laughs) uh your uh, your porno birthday for today which is being brought to you by patricia's where fun and fantasy meet is mandy bright and today's birthday girl's gotten punished more than a teen breaking curfew in 361 fine films including asathon Mm. Born for porn. You got to train for an mm. yeah, yeah, you do. You do. I'm doing yeah. a 5K asathon. I'm doing a half asathon. <laughs> I hope half you don't finish asathon. first. That's every time I have sex is a half asathon. Oh my God. Uh, Grand Theft Anal. <laughs> Rectum, oh. Volume 1. Damn near killed him. Young Buns, Volume 10. Oh, Who's Your Mommy, Volume 7. And who can forget her unforgettable role in Mother by Day, Hooker by Night. <laughs> yeah. well, who, who's Your Mommy, not to be confused with Who's Your Mom. Yeah, right, yeah, correct. Yeah. Yes, it's who yes. is your yes. mom? Gotcha. Uh, Mandy Bright, 39 years old. That's your porno birthday, crappy birthday, and that is your crap on celebrities. I want to thank uh, Miss Nikki Glazer for coming thank in. You. Right now, for coming in. And, uh, <laughs> See her tonight at the uh, Funny Bone. It's all to benefit Stray Rescue. Yep. 7:30 show. Tickets still available, but not many guys. The, all the, money goes to dogs. Yeah, there's no clever name for it. It's no, I, there's usually like funny for Fido. That's what, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, you know, I, comedy for canines. I think that's good. Okay, comedy for we'll canines. Go let's let's go with that. Comedy now, for yeah. canines tonight. <laughs>